okay first thing is feedback amplifiers we are going to see what is feedback amplifier and why this feedback is necessary for an amplifier okay so feedback plays an very important role in electronic circuits and the basic parameters such as input impedance current or voltage gain and bandwidth may be altered considerably by using a feedback for a given amplifier so you have a normal amplifier and it has four parameters input, input impedance output impedance and gain so that gain can be current gain or voltage gain and you will have bandwidth so all these parameters for an amplifier you will measure so if at all is there any possibility to alter these parameters for an amplifier without disturbing the main circuit yes that is possible how it is possible by applying feedback the feedback is a mechanism by which you can alter the parameters of an amplifier what are the parameters of an amplifier you have input impedance current gain voltage gain output impedance bandwidth so all these parameters are uh, are present in an amplifier if you want to change the values if i want to increase my gain if i want to decrease my bandwidth all these are possible if you are going to apply feedback to that circuit how is feedback applied feedback is applied in the form of electron you add some component to your circuit you add some resistance to your circuit that will act like a feedback okay so feedback is uh, quantified by adding electronic components to your existing amplifier circuit okay so in large signal amplifiers uh, or the electronic measuring instruments the problem of distortion should be avoided as far as possible you know when you are operating in a large signal amplifiers or power amplifiers you know distortion is a very very serious issue it has to be handled carefully if you don't handle distortion properly then whatever signal is getting amplified will be completely altered i told distortion i told right it will have all the frequency components fundamental frequency 2f 3f 4f 5f 6f we have also find what is the total harmonic distortion all we found right so all these should be ideally absent in your circuit but when your circuit is going to operate with large signal or when your amplifier is going to be a power amplifier and some electronic measuring instruments where the problem of non linearity is there there you will have this issue of distortion and distortion cannot be completely eliminated it can be avoided as far as possible so it can only be avoided it cannot be completely eliminated so feedback to some extent helps you in reducing the distortion okay so if you if you can alter some parameters of your transistor by applying feedback even the negative parameter even the negative points of the amplifier can also be reduced using feedback so that is the main advantage of feedback okay so again the gain must be independent of external factors such as variation in d supply and values of circuit components the gain of an amplifier should be independent the gain should not depend on your power supply vcc or the gain should not depend on the circuital elements the gain should be an ideal independent factor so when you are going to apply feedback that is also ensured okay so feedback is a very very important uh, thing which you apply to an amplifier to change the characteristics of an amplifier the feedback will enhance your positive parameters of your amplifier and feedback will also bring down all the negative points of an amplifier which will help in increasing the performance of your amplifier okay some issues here the distortion can be eliminated using feedback and the gain can be made a constant factor gain can be constant gain will not depend on vcc okay so that is the important